let's take a look at a proof that the binomial distribution tends to the Poisson distribution. The binomial distribution tends toward the Poisson distribution as n gets very large and goes off toward infinity, as lambda, which is going to equal n times p, stays constant, and then p is going to zero. So the Poisson distribution can be used as an approximation to the binomial distribution for large n and small p. Now let's look at a proof of this. We need to show that the binomial distribution here tends to the Poisson distribution as n tends to infinity and lambda equals n times p is constant. We are going to need this relationship, which I am going to take as a given. This is one of the ways of expressing e to the x, and it's going to come up in this proof. Here we have our binomial formula, and now I'm simply going to let lambda equal np, which means that p is equal to lambda over n. And I'm going to take this value and substitute it in here, and we get what we have over here. Now I'm going to open up this n choose x, and we know that n choose x is simply equal to n factorial over x factorial times n minus x factorial, and so I put that in here. Now what I'm going to do to help us see what's going on is take the lambda to the x outside here along with this x factorial. So we have lambda to the x over x factorial times what remains. And now all we need to show is that this bit here tends to e to the minus lambda as n tends to infinity. So I'm going to do this in a few parts. First of all, let's look at this term. So in the next slide, I'm just going to isolate it here to this term, and we're going to look at that one. As a first step, I'm going to re-express this n factorial. Remember, n factorial is simply n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times all the way down to times 2 times 1. And I'm going to re-express that here as this. And we should be able to see this term is one more than this term, so this simply works out to n factorial in the numerator. And this will enable me to cancel these two terms. Now what we've got here in the numerator, here we have x terms. There are x terms there. n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to n minus x plus 1. There's x terms there over n to the x. And so we could rewrite that then as n over n times n minus 1 over n times n minus 2 over n and so on. And then this works out to 1 times 1 minus 1 over n times 1 minus 2 over n times 1 minus x plus 1 over n. All that we've done to this point is re-express our binomial formula. So we've rewritten our binomial formula as what we have here. And now I'm simply going to open up this term a little bit, and we get this. So I've simply rewritten this as the two components, 1 minus lambda over n to the n, and 1 minus lambda over n to the minus x. This is just another way of writing the equation on the last page. And we haven't done anything with limits yet, but what we are going to do is take the limit as n tends to infinity of this, which is the limit as n tends to infinity of this equation here. And these three terms down here involve n. This term does not, because we're saying that lambda, which is n times p, is a constant. Now, if we want the limit of this as n tends to infinity, we can take this term outside of the limits because we're saying that lambda, which is n times p, is constant, and we can look at these three terms individually by the product rule of limits. So in this first term, we're going to see that as n goes to infinity, this term is going to get really big, and this term is going to 1. This term is going to get really big, and this term is going to 1. This term is getting really big, and this term is going to 1. So the first term, the limit of that first term, is 1. For this second term, the limit as n tends to infinity of 1 minus lambda over n to the nth power is e to the minus lambda by the property I discussed earlier on. And for this term here, n is tending to infinity, which means that lambda over n is tending to 0, and then this entire term is tending to 1. 
And so we have then that the limiting value of our binomial distribution as n tends to infinity and lambda equals n times p stays constant is equal to this. Or in other words, equal to lambda to the x e to the minus lambda over x factorial, which is the Poisson formula. So we are done. The Poisson distribution is the limiting form of the binomial distribution.